The 2016 fall semester at Kutztown University featured the finale of the institution's 13-month sesquicentennial celebration as the university turned 150 years old on September 15th. The planning for the grand celebration began in 2013 with the formation of a steering committee. Guido and Susan Pacchini, longtime supporters and friends of the university, were selected to serve as the honorary chairs. And what a historic year it will be. It will be the 150th for KU. My wife Susan and I have truly enjoyed serving as the honorary chairs. For the past two years, we've been closely involved with the planning of the sesquicentennial celebration. In fact, the 150th steering committee and six subcommittees, comprised of a total of 40 faculty, staff, and students, have spent countless hours preparing for the next 13 months. The intent of the celebration was to honor KU's 150 years of excellence to raise the university's profile throughout the region, and to build a sense of internal community and pride among the Kutztown University family. After two years of planning, the celebration kicked off in August of 2015 with the unveiling of the mural in Schaefer Auditorium by KU student Benjamin Hoffman, titled, Celebrating 150 Years of Music Through Public Art. Two days later, as students arrived to campus for the new school year, they were greeted by sesquicentennial banners and 150th year branded items throughout campus, and the addition of the alma mater and the iconic Old Main Clock Tower, which continues to play every day just after the noon hour. The 2015 fall semester included a plethora of events highlighted by the unveiling of the Celebrate KU chalkboard, where students wrote their fond thoughts and memories about the university and received free snacks. The celebration of 100 years of Golden Bear football, which culminated with the naming of the all-time team in November and the return of more than 100 football alumni to the home season finale. This is one that I call the Academic Sesquicentennial Series, a 13 event program running throughout the entire academic year. The series spanned all four colleges and featured guest lecturers, performers, and educators. The first of three sports fests was held in September. These were events to encourage students to attend home events for many of the NCAA varsity sports teams, which included special giveaways. All of the Golden Bear teams recognized KU's 150th through uniform patches, warm-up t-shirts, and other team apparel. The annual Family Day was another fall highlight as the Pennsylvania State Employees Credit Union, one of the cornerstone sponsors of the sesquicentennial celebration, sponsored a grand fireworks display after the home football game. The weekend began with the sesquicentennial 5K cross-country run as more than 75 runners braved chilly conditions to compete on KU's scenic North Campus course. KU Presents also got in on the act, highlighting the performing arts through several special shows throughout the year. One of the highlights was Celebrate Marimba, a Claire Omar Musser Marimba Orchestra tribute concert featuring 150 marimba percussionists from across the country. In October, a history display was unveiled in the renovated Old Main Concourse. Located in the historic center of campus, the display features rare memorabilia and photos from as far back as the university's founding days as Keystone State Normal School. The display remains in the concourse as a lasting memory of the sesquicentennial celebration and is a true walk back in time. One of the lead-off events of the 2016 spring semester was a themed New Year reception for faculty and staff among the historical artifacts in the concourse. 
The centerpiece, however, was the April 15th inauguration of Dr. Kenneth S. Hawkinson, who began his tenure in July as the 12th president of Kutztown University. Visitors from far and wide enjoyed the pomp and circumstance of the investiture ceremony, followed by a magnificent celebration on Alumni Plaza. Commencement in May marked the end of a truly unique academic year. To commemorate the occasion, graduates wore special ribbons recognizing KU's 150th during the winter and spring ceremonies. The steering committee continued its efforts over the summer to wrap up the sesquicentennial celebration in style by planning the final details for PSECU Founders Week, September 9th through 15th. Highlighted by at least one cornerstone event each day, Founders Week included a sesquicentennial parade through the borough of Kutztown, the publication of a KU history book produced by KU students Emma Billig and Kayla Fusselman, post-game fireworks after KU's football home opener versus Mercyhurst. A celebration for students, hosted by two-time Mascot Madness champion, Avalanche. A 5K cross-country race, and the Founders Day 150th birthday party, hosted on the lawn across from Old Main, where the university was founded in 1866. A time capsule, which includes many items representing present-day KU, will be placed in Alumni Plaza and is scheduled to be open at the university's bicentennial in 2066. The Kutztown University sesquicentennial was a true celebration of the institution's unrivaled past and unlimited future. And once again, it was the people of Kutztown University who pulled together, as they have over the previous century and a half, to celebrate our milestones, to honor our great past, and who will work to ensure our students are prepared to meet lifelong intellectual, ethical, social, and career challenges for many years to come. Thank you.